Albuquerque police detectives are combing the streets looking for prostitutes, not to make arrests, but to find a serial killer. Tonight, America's Most Wanted aired an in-depth look into the West Mesa murder investigation. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the newsplex with the details. Michael, we've seen the digging. We've seen the pictures. This is the first time Albuquerque and the nation saw just how close detectives have come to solving the West Mesa mystery. Let's have a chat with this one, Ada. It's the most in-depth look at where the West Mesa investigation stands today. America's Most Wanted was first granted access. More than a year ago, a single bone led detectives to the remains of 11 women. One was pregnant. Police say all had ties to prostitution and drugs. In January, the last victim was identified as Jamie Barella. For months, detectives sifted through the West Mesa desert looking for any clues about the killer with little luck. Now they've shifted their investigation to the streets. We were making contact with known prostitutes or current prostitutes to see if they had any information that might assist us in our investigation. America's Most Wanted tagged along as detectives in the case tracked down prostitutes. The camera rolled as one woman gave police a possible break. We're the detectives that are working the case of the girls that were found in the West Mesa. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. So you knew Cinnamon? Okay. The woman told detectives she knew one of the victims named Cinnamon Elks. She also knew Michelle Valdez, the victim who was pregnant. But she also recognized... Do us a favor, look through these pictures. ...someone else. The woman pointed to a man whose picture is kept at the collage of faces that detectives carry with him. One could be their killer, but only a few are on the top of their suspect list. There's a couple people that, uh, that are on that suspect list, and again, I'll, I'll say is it somewhere uh, um, up to six. And Chief Schultz says the list of suspects continues to change as tips come in. Not all of the suspects are in Albuquerque. Recently, two detectives left the state to track down leads. Michael. Okay, Crystal, that's exactly why Chief Schultz says getting national attention is huge for this case. Police say it's also not uncommon for prostitutes to travel through several cities during a single year.